crunched plastic gear teeth. How about the brass replacement? So I've got some brass bar. So while I was at it, I thought I would make a few of these. So if you think you would uh, like one, drop me an email. Lovely. Okay, time to cut the keyways. This is a plate I used on a previous job to hold the part, but I've had to make an adapter to suit. So we'll just press that in. Okay, that looks good. Okay, just trying to eyeball it near the centre. It's a tight squeeze. Looks like it might be about right. Let's pull it through. So it looks pretty central there. It's um, making a scratch on one side. So I'll move it over just a bit. Try that. So it seems to be cutting evenly at both sides there. So this cut has 3 sixteenths of an inch wide, which is 187 thou. The keyway has to be 5mm, which is 197 thou. So there's 10 thou difference. So I'm going to move the table over 5 thou for the first cut. Okay, so that's just cleaned into the bottom of the radius of the hole. So we can set our dial to zero. And we need to go down a hundred thou. Thank you. 
to remove it five cell the other way. So back to zero, another five cell. I've got uh, two slip gauges here that make up five millimeters, so 197 thou. Oh, they have a perfect fit. Okay, I've made a mandrel to hold these in a dividing head. So I'm going to do two at a time. A nice fit on that. But first, I'm going to cut a couple of blanks and just check to make sure everything's okay. So we'll set that up in a dividing head. So these style of uh, involute cutters normally give you some information on the actual cutter and it usually gives you a D plus F which is the depth of the tooth plus some clearance and this cutter which is a 12 DP cutter uh, D plus F is 0.1875 however on this cheap import cutter it doesn't actually give you a depth so a quick reference to Ivan Lowe's uh, Gears and Gear Cutting book which I can highly recommend, full of some good practical information about cutting gears. There's a table which gives uh, the tooth depth for one module at 2.16 millimeters or 85 thousandths of an inch. So that's what we'll use. Okay, uh, to make it, to hold the cutter I've just made up this arbor. So that fits on there nicely. Put the cap on and the bolt. And hold it in the milling machine. I'm going to use this uh, end mill holder. So that fits in there. Just look at that. Beautiful. I can hardly push it in. Okay. So we'll just set the height with a feeler gauge. Well, it's touching that. So that's four thou. So a quick bit of math tells me I need to raise the table four hundred and twenty-one thou. Looks pretty good. Okay, I thought I was okay, but looks like I'm going to have to move the uh, dividing head. The table won't go far enough in to set the cutter. I could cut from the other side, but then it's difficult to actually see what the cutter's doing. So I'd rather be on this side. So we'll just set that up. So that's the dividing head moved over. 